thoughts on the Punisher yet? I I watched the first two episodes of Punisher. Is it good? So far, yeah. I'm really I'm really digging it. They are they are being they're being very slow and deliberate, and I like it. It's a really good pace so far. I'm, you know, Punisher is a, to me at least is a very one note character, sure. you know. And uh, and they are doing a really good job of uh, of building up his character and the uh, the, uh, the plot of the season. Of course, I'm only two episodes in, so there's a lot a lot of places it can go. But see, the nice thing about the Punisher is you don't need to build up his character. He's he's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a one he's a one note machine. You and that's need fine. To, you need to, you need to build up. You need to build up why other people are bad enough to deserve murder. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. And so that's what you. Yes, that's you, what you focus on. You need to justify him murdering people. You. You don't want. I. I don't want. Uh, the Punisher, Frank Castle, being sad. I don't want that. Is he's dead inside. And there's there's nothing but that cold rage. <laughs> That's the Punisher to me. But in the Punisher that we've seen, in the Punisher in Daredevil season two, we didn't get, we didn't get the reason for the cold rage. And so, at least in the first couple of episodes, we're getting a lot of, all right, all of right, why there is that cold rage, and it's it's working so far for me. I'm, I'm excited to watch more. Um, but I'm only I'm only two episodes in, but so far I'm excited to watch more. Rich's Punisher is Ray Stevenson in Warzone, and it was perfect. I, I've heard nothing but good things about Punisher Warzone, and I haven't seen it. And I feel, I mean, Punisher isn't, he probably, he's probably not in my top ten for favorite characters. I don't care about the Punisher that much. <laughs> but I hear Warzone is just a good action flick, so I like a good action flick. I like the Punisher. Yeah? Yeah. Up until the Marvel movies, I did not care that much about Thor or Iron Man or Captain America, really. Uh, My favorite Marvel characters would have been, you know, you got your Spider-Man, you got your Fantastic Fours, I know you disagree with that. No, right. Punisher's right up in there. Really? Like, Cap was always one of my favorites, but uh, I'm also, like, I'm, uh, what, what, what do the kids call it? I'm also pretty basic. Uh -huh. So I just, I like the standard, like, do-gooder hero. I like, I like Cyclops, all right? I'm putting it out there. Rich doesn't care about X Men, yeah. but I, I like Cyclops as a character. I like the 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 by the book hero. <laughs> Did I say that? Oh. Whoa! Shit! Cyclops can have a character. They. Uh, they actually did a really good job of Cyclops uh, in the Ultimate X-Men books. Uh, you know, here and there in the other X-Men books, but I think they really keyed in on what makes him tick in the Ultimate X-Men books. In, in fact, there, there was one particular storyline uh, that was very Cyclops-focused that, that, uh, that really Is solidified it? my love for him. Isn't he just flat out a villain now, Cyclops? Oh, I don't know. Well, who knows where they are now? I haven't picked up an X Men book in ever, in forever. Oh, well, see, and it all depends on what continuity. Uh, one of the continuities, uh, he's actually. He's old Cyclops, trapped in a, a version of himself as a teenager, even though he has the mind of old Cyclops. What? Yeah. When did this happen? I, the, recently. So he he has all of his memories from him being an old man, but he got trapped in a version of himself as a teenager. <laughs> sounds, that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, by the way, yeah, there's no downside to this. Yeah, there's no downside there's no, to this. All all your worldly experiences, but you're not closer to death. Yeah, sign every me up. everything you've done that you regret, <laughs> undone. <laughs> You know how to play the stock market like a fucking pro. No, no, it's, 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 uh, I don't think there's any time travel involved. Oh, no? I don't know. 
But still, having all of your life experiences but a good body to go with it, I'll take it. No, Teen Cyclops was transported from the past to the present. Adult Cyclops is dead. Jesus Christ. Well, there we go. They did the exact same thing with Tony Stark like 15 years ago. Oh, yeah? They, they turned Iron Man evil. Okay. And so his younger self came, and now he's the younger self as Iron Man. <laughs> but he's younger and inexperienced. Because they, they, they needed to reset. Because they needed to reset Iron Man because they turned him into a villain. <laughs> Come on, comic book writers. 20 years ago now, maybe. That was <laughs> that was a while back. That was 90s, I think. <laughs> time travel. I'm sorry that I'm wrong. Apparently time travel wasn't wrong. Listen, it, 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 it doesn't really matter because it's all fucked up now. <clears throat> Everything's fucked up now. The retcons are eating themselves. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. Let's see here. Uh, Mung Cat's cat. Monkey's cat says, Hey, Jack and Rich, just watched the Justice League half in the bag, and I have a question. Yeah. Why do Americans clap in movies? Uh, it's not every movie. It's just the dumb ones in comic book movies. Why do Americans clap at ev everything? As an Australian, that sounds really annoying. Did people clap at yeah. the end of the movie? During. During? The dumbest things, too. They, well, oh wait, when did you see it? Uh, opening night. Okay, all right, that makes sense. That makes more sense. That's when you have all of the the hardcore fans. Okay. Like I think I think if you were to see that like this week after opening weekend, you probably wouldn't get that strong of a reaction. I I'll, I'll be honest. I think I have clapped at the end of a movie before. I can't remember what movie it was, but I'm gonna say I've done it. Possibly Fury Road. <laughs> <laughs> I may have, I may have clapped at the end of Fury Road. <laughs> we, well, and part part of the joy that can be the movie going experience nope, nope, nope. is reacting to the movie, and that includes clapping, that includes laughing, that includes gasping at the shocking plot twist. Uh, so I, I, I'm not necessarily going to hate on anyone clapping at a movie, but, you know, Justice League doesn't sound to me as if it deserves a clap, but hey. I clapped and cheered at Grindhouse, but that was part of the experience. Well, you know. There's nothing wrong with uh, with expressing yourself during a movie as long as it's appropriate. Well, I think it's yeah, it's different if you're going to a showing of like the Room or the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a whole different thing. Brown Adams, I don't know. I have not seen it yet. I'm probably gonna go see it tomorrow. I have. I wouldn't even bother. I have a. I, I wouldn't even bother. I got the morning free. Hold hold on for a moment. Hold on for a moment. fly around here for a bit.
What do, what do you want me to say? What, what do you all want me to say? If I talk and play this, I'm just gonna crash every four seconds. I'm, I'm not really good at talking and playing games. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that about me. That's why my solo streams are just quite frankly terrible. Absolutely terrible. This is a great little map. Glad this one got saved. There's neat pillars to fly through. Great! Gotta die, gotta die. Straight down's the only option. Only option! And pull up! No! It didn't work! See, when I talk while I play the game, I just say what I'm doing in the game. And it's, it's redundant. Oh shit, it wasn't that. Right. I love this map. It's save. But maybe. Maybe we should find a new location. Chat when I go to a new area. Oh, this looks evil. Evil rocks. Jack, well, yeah, Jack adds a lot to this experience. I'm sorry. I feel like high scores could easily be achieved if only by pursuing portals. Yeah, probably. But, I don't know, kind of does that defeat the purpose if you're not just having fun? And I, I could just go for portals here. Let's see what we get. I didn't miss that one. Did I? Oh, we can go back around. Get it. There's two. Alright, portal run. Portal run. Missing all these great areas. Portal's only unlocked after so many points. Say nowhere, nowhere near as fun. I gotta tell you. And I can't. Oh, there's one now. Nah, too risky. Too risky. Yeah, straight down.
get it? Can I get it? We did. Ooh, this is neat. This is some, uh, Avatar shit right here. Everything cool? I left you alone. I know you did. I left you <laughs> I know you did. I left you alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was my mother. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She does not call me very often, and, uh, she just called me to gossip. But, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't you can't say you go can, away ma <laughs> <laughs> there's two people you should not you know hang up with you know your 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 significant other and or your mother like those if it was my dad like ah yeah fuck off i'm working <laughs> <laughs> right 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 <clears throat> chat talked me into just portals only not 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 daredevil stunts we're just going for the next portal why uh, high score you should get a thousand points per portal but what fun is that? That's what I said. <laughs> That's, that was exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Look, well, to be fair, it wasn't the whole chat. It was yeah. one guy making a suggestion. Sure, sure, sure. And I'm like, ah, let's see what happens. <laughs> Foley X, exactly. Like, I didn't want to say to my mom, go away, mom, I'm playing video games. <laughs> That's more important than you, mom. <laughs> you know, even though, like, she she's starting to... um. She's starting to understand what it is we do, which scares me even more. Really? Yeah. She she had a like a friend whose whose kid is really into watching streams. I just lost. Just lost what? Uh, I, what what do you lift? Oh. Sure. On my way to a portal. And so and so like her friend was was like oh you know was my 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 kid is watching all these things and she oh my boy does that oh yeah I know that's a thing, that's a whole thing so. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? Ah, it's become it's becoming a known quantity now, Rich. It's less weird to talk about. Oh, I'm passing up all this cool shit chat. Don't don't do it. No, look at that. You can. I know. I know. I can't. I, I, I can't anymore. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone, Jack. Ooh, this is a cool looking world. Oh, I'm totally picking this up for three bucks. You, yeah, I, I, I recommend it. It's three goddamn dollars. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Where were we? Why do we clap at everything? Of course, I've, I've clapped at everything. You know, a lot of times, like I, I'll go to the, um, the art house movie theaters by myself often. Yeah. Which is a very different experience than going to the Megaplex. And usually after you watch the Artie Farty movie in the art house theater, people clap. Right. But that's a very different experience. Well, it's after the movie, not throughout and during, right? Right, exactly. Someone clapping, like, like was it at a character Flash said a thing. It was Flash I, said I, a someone, thing? Someone did the thing. The thing. They did the thing. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Ooh! Hang out in this world. Look at that. That's so cool Here. looking. Jack, it's okay. What? Save. Save. Save the map. Boom. Look at that. Oh, I love that color scheme. You can go home tonight, and you can fly through this ship all you want, Jack. I can, and I will. I can you missed the I Avatar will. one. Was, everything was like a little floating island. Oh, fun. Flash did the thing. <laughs> Buy our toys now. Flash made a reference, like, Flash saved someone and he goes, Iris, is that you? I know who Iris is. I guess Cyborg saying booyah is a thing? I don't. He, did he, wait. Did he say boo, he said booyah? I think. Okay, that's important. That's a Teen Titans Go reference, Rich. The popular children's program on Cartoon Network. He says booyah. <laughs> I'm an adult man, Jack. Did he? Did he then ask? Did he then ask uh, Dark and Grim Batman if he wanted a meatball party? Meatball party! Meatball party! I have children, and so I can tell you all about Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go, as they fucking love that stuff. I know very little about the Teen Titans, let alone the Teen Titans Go. I, I'm I'm pretty well versed, as it's on very often in my house. They love it.
Damn you, Jack. That was from the real series first. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's all the same shit. I like both, by the way. I think that might be controversial. I like both versions of Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. I think they're fun for different reasons. Chad, you might not like the Teen Titans Go, but if the kids do, yep. it's all Cartoon Network cares about. Yep. They're selling the toys or Happy Meals or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> They, they do. They air, and, like, Teen Titans Go is the Spongebob of Cartoon Network. It is just constantly on. So I have heard. It is constantly, and I'm okay with it. Like, it's because I think it's a fun show. They have a lot of fun. Could you imagine that, Rich? It's a superhero show, and they have lots of fun. They tell jokes. It's crazy. <laughs> Corn? <laughs> I love that corny mode with the little swooshy lines after it. I love it. I love seeing the corny mode. <laughs> hmm. Uh, all right. Where are we? Portal run suck. Don't do it then. You have fun, man. We're at twenty-five thousand. Well, twenty-four seven fifty-three. Okay. Great. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hot Farted says, good evening. Uh, outside of planes, trains, and automobiles, what do you think is the best Thanksgiving-themed movie? I couldn't think of any. Why do you think that is? Family dinner drama is still drama. Uh, because it's too close to Christmas and everyone wants to make a Christmas movie. It's just after Halloween, we've just had the Halloween movies. And Halloween's a fun one to make movies for. Mm-hmm. Halloween's and then it's, it's, it's so close fun. to Christmas. Yep. Liter Thanksgiving is is literally just a, a, a waiting period. You gotta wait till this one stupid thing is over before we can get to Christmas time. Also, they were unpopular before. They're impossible now. What? Foreign markets doesn't give a shit about Thanksgiving. Oh, there you go. Rich, that was... I don't want to say shockingly astute, but that was incredibly <laughs> astute. <laughs> The, the majority of, uh, of of movie profits now come from foreign markets. Is it surpasses and now the majority? Uh, I, yeah. I know it was, like, it was almost equal for a while. I, I would assume it's the majority. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, they, the, you know who doesn't care about Thanksgiving? China. <laughs> right. They don't give no fucks Canada. about... Canada doesn't care about our Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Color schemes. Do you, do you think England gives a fuck about when those traitors met the Indians and had dinner? <laughs> Americans have, uh, according to Gino Suave. Even people in this country, do you think the Native Americans want to be reminded of that shit? <laughs> And honestly, like, the rest of us are starting to not care. Like, all Thanksgiving is now is I have to leave to go shopping yeah. in order to get the sales. Oh, you'll, you'll see Black Friday comedies before you see Thanksgiving movies. Count it, people. Right there? That was a truth bomb. Yeah. A truth bomb from Rich Evans. Black Friday comedies. That's a really good idea, actually. You could sell that. It's got to have happened by now, Shopping, right? Shopping comedies. That kind of what Jingle All the Way was. Ooh, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, you know, Christmas. Christmassy. Oh, but this color scheme. Uh, it's too pink. That's Pepto. That's this Pepto Bismol, my friend. It's interesting, but it's just too much. Yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of pink. The fog is pink. Everything's pink. Close to 30,000. Is that what you're going for? Or I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. What's what's your goal by going through the the portal only? Is, I guess, what I'm what I'm asking here. Whoa, that was a close one, Rich. Yeah. I think we've done the portal thing. Yeah. What's down here? What's down here? What's down? No, no, no death no, no, no. is down there. Death. <laughs> Thirty thousand. No, uh, it's a, it is the high score. Respectable. You 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 have a rank of six thousand five hundred and two now. 
So you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great, Rich. Completely defeated the purpose of having fun playing a video. Yeah. yeah. Someone, do someone doesn't understand that. Like, but you can make your number higher. Like, who cares about making your number higher? I was doing sweet tricks and shit, man. Right. It's like it's like watching a Dark Souls speed run. Mm -hmm. Where you have this incredibly fun game. Yeah. And they do a speed run of it and they go out of bounds and they avoid ninety percent of the game. Sure. Sure. It's like, oh yeah, you did it faster, you got that record, that's your thing, I get it, but uh, <laughs> why <laughs> Yep, I'm with you. I'm with you. There were, you know, or like like Ocarina of Time speedruns where they just spend the whole, the whole thing like, uh, crouched up against the wall, back flipping, and you're like, but what are you doing, man? <laughs> like I get it, that's that's your thing with the game, but yeah, not not what everyone's in it for. Spe that, yeah, that's that's a, a, a chickadee monster. So speedruns aren't necessarily about having fun. I know. Y yeah. That's the problem with speedruns. And that's a f that's a fair point. A chickadee monster. Alright, let's see what we got here. The Blue Prism says, Hey guys, dare I ask if there are any Switch games you are looking forward to? Probably not, right? Uh, what's coming out on it? I don't know. The ones I was looking forward to when they announced that have already come out. We have... got my Mario, I got my Zelda. Yeah, I don't even know what's coming out. Like... I, I was thinking, a, a part of me was think. what are you doing? I'm looking for somewhere fun to go, oh. and this map is not... Oh, this could just be a shit map, yeah. Maybe over there. Like, uh, even though I already own Rocket League twice, there, there could be a case for Rocket League on the Switch, as far as I'm concerned. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Um... Uh, Death most likely. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Shit! <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I was gonna go up and over, but I didn't have the momentum, so I, I had to dive! <laughs> oh, <nice>. I had to! <laughs> Alright, portals mixed with, with Daredevil. This yeah. Way. Ooh, there's just like a lot of shit in here. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, uh -oh, whoa, uh -oh. whoa! I'm, I'm, oh no, I'm glitched. Oh no, you got out of the glitch. Oh, <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. You got out of the glitch too late. <laughs> too late. Cruzo Trumps has still never seen you play Rocket League. Really? We used to do that all the time. Um, but you know, like thinking about something like Rocket League, like I have this nice, I have this trip coming up, and we'll be staying at a place with decent Wi-Fi. And having the ability to eh, play Rocket League while just, you know, hanging out for an hour would be really nice. Thanks. Usually, usually I wake up a little bit earlier than, uh, than the people around me, so, you know. Uh, while on vacation, playing Rocket League on the old Switch, eh, that, could be, that could be fun. You get a, they, they got a Mario car uh, that's, that's unique. They got a Metroid car. That could be nice. And also, uh, I would be better than everyone else on the Switch playing Rocket League. Well, there's probably a lot of people who might also buy it for multiple things. Sure. Or systems, so. Oh! Aww. That was just you. That was just you fucking up. Nobody's blaming the entire chat for one offhand comment about maximizing high scores. Somebody said that. I thought, oh, let's try it. Yeah. Nobody's blaming anybody. Relax. No, no. You know, they, they had an idea. We gave it a try. And then we had an interesting conversation about, you know, fun versus min-max. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, that led to some decent conversation there, Jack. Talking about speedruns. They're not all like Dark Souls no. speedruns. Like, uh, I, my mind was blown when I saw somebody speedrun Crypt of the Necrodancer. Oh, yeah? Oh, God. And you just couldn't do it anymore? You the even... the most difficult character in that game. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Um, Is it Coda? Is it Coda? The one where it has like all of the disadvantages from all of the other characters. You you die in one hit. Mm -hmm. You can't touch gold or you die. If you move off of the beat, you die. So you have to move on the beat. You can only use the dagger. Yeah, yeah. And they beat the game in like ten minutes. That's insane. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow. That's insane. Impre that, impressive and took skill. <laughs> and then you watch something like that and you go, what's even the point of me playing? <laughs> yeah, like, kind of. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I can never... I can never even come close to that. Oh, <laughs> boop. Like this, you know, like this is a game that I would want on the Switch. By the way, just thinking of Switch games. Give me this. Give me this on the Switch. Give me something that I can just turn on for five minutes, glide around, zen out, and turn off. Oh, I would love that. I would love... Oh, you could even do motion controls. Yeah. <laughs> That would suck. That would suck. <laughs> but we got to pitch it to Nintendo. Nintendo would love that. Oh, it's a oh yes, motion control. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Nintendo would buy it in a second, right? I wouldn't play with motion controls. That's how you pitch it to Nintendo. But, oh, For some I reason, my Nintendo executive is Scottish. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Lassie. Hey, motion controls. That's, it's that's me. It's your Lassie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's me, Yoshi Amoyamoto. I don't know why you're pitching this to Nintendo of Scotland, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting me kilt in a twist? <laughs> I've got to switch out me kilt, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, this is, like, this is something that I'd really, I'd really be interested in. As far as... Oh! Almost threaded the needle, Jack. Yep. Almost threaded the needle. Uh... I, I honestly don't know what's coming out for the Switch. Is, is my problem as far as what games I'm excited for. Smash Brothers, a new Mario Kart... Is there? Uh, no. I'm no, just... I don't think there's either of those oh, things. Give it a year or two. Give it... <laughs> Paper Mario... That is even then you maybe got me. Metroid. New Metroid, you maybe got me. You know what's coming out on it already. It's that's the this the the nice thing about owning a Nintendo console. You know you know what you're gonna get eventually. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're not going to make an Animal Crossing for the Switch because they are making an, an Animal Crossing mobile game. Karen will be hurt by that. She'll get the mobile one, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know she's a big Animal Crossing fan. But now she can play it on her phone. Let's just watch her play it. She's got like four million Animal Crossing dollars. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Uh, we got this game on Steam. It might be available on GOG. I got it on Steam because uh, that's where I found it. But I have to check GOG. You can go... Um, where was I? I was just on the website. You can go to superflightgame.com. And that's, that's the website. Let me see here. Actually, it might only be on Steam. It might only be on Steam. I don't see a link to uh, to GOG. So. Yeah. I don't know. It would be more satisfying with ragdoll physics. I'm going to agree with you 100%, Ryan from Michigan. You crash into something and your, your character does wicked flips. I can't believe you got out of that range. Nice one. I saw that. I saw you wanting to go for that other loop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wanted to go for that one too. Now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want I want uh I want a blood stain and I want a corpse bouncing off of stuff when you die. Oh! <laughs> 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 sa ever satisfying though, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's right. There's no, no more heroes coming to the Switch. Oh, okay. Newer. There you go. There you go. There you go. And that is a new No More Heroes, not 
not a port not a, of the old ones. Yeah, yeah. Not a remaster. There is a um, new No More Heroes. Wouldn't be against that either, though. I'll take a remaster of uh, No More Heroes. Oh, fucking nice, Rich. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Let's see here. Uh, Brown Adam Sandler says, according to Snyder, uh, he killed Superman because he wanted Batman to form the Justice League. Another, what? <laughs> so what? Why, why is Batman? I don't. Hold on. Okay. Uh, another option was Superman fighting Doomsday out in space. LOL, because Rich spoke about, spoke about it in the review. Oh, okay, so this is this is from your review. Did you ask why Superman was killed? Uh, well, I just thought it was a waste. Yeah, yeah. They didn't do anything with him being dead. That was interesting. Ah, okay. Ooh, fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, not, not only a waste as far as, uh, from a storytelling perspective, but now... Any uh, future retelling of Superman dying, one of the most iconic comic book stories ever, uh, is going to be tarnished. Because, like, ah, we already did it and fucked it up once. <laughs> yeah, you, you get, you know, a guilty Bruce Wayne paying for the funerals. Mm -hmm. So many things you... doesn't have to be the center... doesn't have to be just a story only about the funeral, but there's so many interesting things you can do with the concept. Lex, Lex Luthor yeah. trying to get possession of the body so he can do Lord knows sure, what. Sure, sure. Uh, stuff you could do. Mm -hmm. The, Ma, well, I guess Pa Kent is dead in the movie, but Ma Kent mourning, but she can't openly mourn because Clark isn't tech officially dead yet. Sure. But she knows sure. that Superman's dead. She knows that her son's dead. She's trying to keep it together. That would be great. Yeah. And but, but then you would need someone who actually like cared about <laughs> characters enough. <laughs> To want to, like, kind of delve into what's happening in their lives, so. <laughs> Ooh, Desert World. How many times can Superman die? Right, well, uh, that's... Well, you, the, just the once, so you, you've, you've shut off that door now. That door is yeah. closed. Like, not only that, but you've also shut off doors to, um... Uh, oh shit! What was the Batman comic with, where he fought Superman in the power armor? Um, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Like, oh shit! Oh, nice Holy one. shit! <laughs> 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 like in in one foul swoop of uh, Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice, you have closed the doors to actually interesting ideas. <laughs> I'm not saying that The Dark Knight was the best Batman book ever, but at least it was trying to say something about the nature of a violent hero. Uh, and then Snyder decided not to say anything, which was an interesting take. Snyder decided to borrow all of the iconic imagery and then not say anything about it, which, <laughs> you know, bold choice. Bold choice from a director. But... <laughs> It's huge missed opportunities. What I'm saying is it's two huge missed opportunities rolled into Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, what what can we hope for now is, is, is literally a reboot. Is WB saying, we're not doing the cinematic universe anymore. We're starting over, and everyone going, ah, all right. <laughs> and everyone will be... Oh, fuck. Nice, Rich. That's a fun one. <laughs> Here, Jack, I'm saving this current man for Do you. Do it. You Save go. them all, man. I love them. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> when I buy this, I'm not going to have access to those maps. That sad. Uh, Highlander AK says, isn't that what they do in Marvel as well, though? Borrow interesting ideas from various comic runs and make small scenes out of them. Yes, but they do them well, <laughs> you see. <laughs> see, Mar Marvel, Marvel takes something like, like Planet Hulk and says, well, you know what? This is a really weird thing to make a movie out of. It's also a really big movie. I don't know if we can ever do this, but the idea of Hulk being on a... On a on a arena battle planet? That's really neat. Let's take that. 
Let's take that and add it to our Thor movie. Yeah, all right, fun, all right? Valkyrie. This I'm doing it. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna choke so hard there. Like Valkyrie, this character, you know, from this specific run of Thor comics yeah, is kind of interesting. Let's pluck her out and pop her in there. Boom. Easy peasy. Everyone likes Loki, not necessarily because they like Loki, but they really like Tom Middleson. Middle what what's his name? Hiddleston? Hiddleston? They really like that actor, so you know what? We're gonna bring him back. <laughs> because everyone likes him. Oh no. Oh no. It's it's the same thing with oh, It's the same thing with Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, like like Spider-Man Homecoming borrowed a whole lot from uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man books from Miles Morales Spider-Man uh, from original Spider-Man and like they just took the bits that worked and they did them well. Like yeah, you know what what's what was really fun about the Miles Morales books? He's got this friend that's his own age that he talks to. That's really great. That'll help with our storytelling. So, you know, we'll give him Gonki. I really like I really like Peter Parker as a as a high school as a, as a as someone who is struggling. Ultimate boom, making it happen. How does the score in the game work? Yolo contendre. The closer you are to the walls, as you see, the the score ticks up. Uh, and the more, like, I'm sure it has some sort of uh, what I'm going to call a badass algorithm, a badass algorithm. <laughs> No, that's not gonna. All right, it has fine. a some, a what? It's fine. It has a badass algorithm. So the cooler things you do, the more points you get. You go through the ah, nice, rich. You go through the thing at high speed, you get more points. You get closer to a wall, you get more points. Oh no! <laughs> it was briefly awesome. <laughs> So, action, so, in summation, for DC, there is nothing wrong with borrowing little bits from the comic books, but you should do them well. And I would argue that Superman dying is not a little bit from a comic book. That's like a whole character thing. That's three years worth of story arcs in the comic books. Not necessarily, like, that's not just like... You know, the, the Batman power armor? Sure, I'll give you. Like, that that's iconic imagery, but the whole reason for the power armor is is tied in with the character. It's just not it's just not done well. That's the moral of the story. Is there, there's just a whole not a whole bunch not done well. Hmm. What do we got here? Right, you don't just trivialize the death of a main character, right? Right. But they just did. They, but they did. So you're not supposed to. Tip. That's a, that's a quick tip for any aspiring writer out there. Try not to trivialize the death of the main character. Do you... Bloop. That's good. We're trying again. Blurp. Yeah, try it again. Nice. What's through here? What's through here? Ah! That was almost super awesome. I was <laughs> slalom slaloming <laughs> through the rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Do Let's it. See if I can find that same area. Do it. Ryan from Michigan no, says, "No, no, no, no." Nope. Says, "Can they recover and make good movies now?" No. I'm gonna disagree and say, "Of course they can make good movies." Wonder Woman is a good movie. Will will they be tied in with the rest of the universe? Is another question. They theoretically can make good movies. Will they make good movies? Is a whole different question. I think Wonder Woman is a fine movie. It's a fine, fine movie. Plop. Plop. In fact, Wonder Woman was such a good movie, that's what gave uh, 
Warner Brothers the the ego with its uh, box office expectations. Yeah, Wonder Woman did pretty good. This is gonna be. This has got Wonder Woman and other people in it. This is gonna be gangbusters. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. No. Yeah, I haven't seen. Uh, like, I'm I'm talking mostly about like Batman v Superman: Down of Justice. I have not seen Justice League yet. We will talk about that next Sunday, assuming either of us can remember anything about the movie. According to Rich, I I honestly don't think I have that much more to say about it. In all honesty, we have more to say about Batman v Superman than about Justice yeah. League. Yeah, well, that's fair. That's fair. Let's see what we got here. Atomic Mousetrap says, I've been searching for the stupidest Star Wars merchandise. I found a Darth Vader kettlebell. As in a 70-pound exercise weight shaped like the head of Darth Vader. Does that does that top a Darth Vader humidifier, though? That Actually, by the way, the last part of that tip was, do you think that beats the humidifier? I'm not sure it does. It might be tied. No, because, like... Steam shoots out of the humidifier. So I think the humidifier's got it beat. You <laughs> <laughs> got a Darth Vader head with steam coming out of it. At least if you're using the kettlebell, you can beat up anyone who makes fun of you. <laughs> no. See what we got here. Uh, True Blue Review says, Speaking of Jumanji... What are your thoughts on the upcoming sequel to Jumanji? I, I have no thoughts on the upcoming sequel to Jumanji. It looks like uh, it would be a fine jungle action comedy if some hack at Sony didn't slap a nostalgia bait title on it. Yeah. Uh, probably get more seats in the theater than if it didn't have that. Right. Uh, you, if you remember, they made like an unofficial sequel to Jumanji called Zathura. Do you remember that? Yeah. The, the space game, and it did not do very well. And so if you just made another unofficial sequel, yeah, it's not going to do so well. I think you are underestimating The Rock's charisma. The Rock uh, has done very well at the box office. He has carried movies. Who was in Get Smart with Steve Carell that I brought up earlier. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. He's oh. the... Oh, I'm gonna spoil uh, Get Smart. You're gonna you're from, gonna spoil the from nine the, years ago the film adaptation. The film of adaptation Get of Smart. the 1960s comedy <laughs> sitcom. Um, <laughs> the Rock. It turns out he's the villain. <gasps> what? I know. I, know. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember that. Uh, the Rock is a decent box office draw, and he has a lot of charisma. It look Jumanji looks. Fairly stupid. But we'll see. Oh, and yes, by the way, I did see the Rampage trailer, and I am down like a clown for Rampage. Did you see Rampage trailer? It's the rock, and it's giant creatures destroying a city. What else do you need in life? Uh, the, the Greatest Show on Earth trailer I also saw. Or the Greatest Show, or whatever they're calling it. The P.T. Barnum movie. Oh, I didn't see that. What's that? The world is changing. What? What? They, 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 they sneak that line in. Into the P the movie about P.T. Barnum? Yeah. What? Yeah. What is, how is the world changing? I don't know, but... <laughs> For P.T. Barnum. It might be the bearded lady that says the line. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. No. No. The world is changing. When does the world change? Uh, uh, for, well, we'll f that's what you got to watch the P.T. Barnum <laughs> was... movie to see how the world changes, apparently. I, 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 Rampage was a, was an arcade favorite of mine back in the day. Yeah. Who the fuck is P.T. Barnum? Uh, Rich, the kid, uh, listen. <gasps> I'm 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 old like you, and I barely know who. Well, I mean, I know who P.T. Barnum is because of my clowning background. So you know, uh, he's the original con man, a, a showman. I think, <laughs> I think he prefers showman, Rich.
He had his, famously, he had a museum of, of oddities, of curiosities. And, you know, half of it was just nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the, I think he had the Fiji mermaid, which was, uh, literally, it was a, a, a mummified mummy that they sewed onto a mummified fish and they called it a mermaid. Sure. Sure. So it was just a, it was a charlatan. But in his museum, mm-hmm. there were signs as a f- finger pointing. The sign said, this way to the egress. Mm-hmm. People, they pay, they go into the museum and they see the sign. This way to the egress. And they're like, oh, what's an egress? I want to see this egress. And they follow the signs of the egress. And they go out the door to the egress. This is the egress. They go through the egress door. Of course. And they find themselves outside in the alley. Because, because egress means exit. Yes. And they didn't know that. So then they have to pay to get back in. P.T. Barnum was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the actual story behind the this way to the egress sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course I know about how to duty time as well. Everybody knows about how to duty time. Every old man knows about how to duty time at least. But yeah, P.T. Barnum was a, a showman, uh, tra- a traveling circus. Traveling circus, yeah. He had a uh, Tom Thumb. He had a whole freak shows. Stuff. Freak shows, yeah. Oddities, uh, amazements, yeah. things your eyes won't believe, things your mind won't comprehend. He's the one. I don't know if he said it or if it just attributed to him, but he's associated with the quote: "There's a sucker born every minute." Mm-hmm. No. Oh, nice. That was awesome. No, not gonna... I don't need this instead. What's in here? What's in here? Nope, Nothing's nope, in here. Nope. No momentum is in there. Nobody outside the USA knows who P.T. Barnum is. Well, well, then you'll enjoy the movie about his life. He's an interesting person. Yeah, yeah. I could I could see a movie. Who's in that movie? I think that's uh, Hugh Jackman, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, I'll buy that. I like Hugh. I'm a fan of Hugh. Nope. Nope. I'm a fan of Hugh. That's a nice uh, That's a nice big name to get in your P.T. Bonham movie. Well, that was... <laughs> that was great, Rich. You that did a great was. job. <clears throat> Just a nice... That, that, we'll, we'll call that the old swoop and splat. There's a lot of that in this game. The old swoop and splat? Split. Didn't pull up soon enough. <laughs> oh, God. This game is a genuine butt clencher. Yeah, sometimes. This is a leany game where you, where you feel like if you lean, then you can turn a little, a little more. So what are we, what are we doing? It's in a couple hours. What? I like are this, we? but what are we? Doing? I might be getting to the end of this. Okay. Uh, Candy for crows says hi, gents. I'm a little late with the tip, but I was thinking a fun nostalgia trip the Duffer Brothers could make for Stranger Things would be a Sierra-style game. Didn't they make a, a game for Stranger Things Season 2 already? I don't know. I think I think they did. It's like a free... It might be a mobile game. I heard it was actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. They did some kind of game. They did some kind of promotional free game for Stranger Things Season 2. I don't know if it's an adventure game, but I, I remember hearing that it was decent. I remember hearing that it was decent. What, who was I just watching on a talk show? It was like a... Like, Sean Astin was on Colbert the other day, and he was talking about the Duffer Brothers and and their attention to detail for all, like, the 80s nostalgia things. Right. And he's like, but, you know, the Duffer Brothers, Duffer Brothers are younger guys, and so they actually had a historical expert on to talk about what sort of posters would be in the background. And for me, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> for, you know, I was a kid who grew up in the 80s. This was my bedroom. And, and they, they have, like, like uh, professors on here to make sure it's all historically accurate. I felt like an old man. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it's so true. Good old Sean Astin. Yep. Sean Astin, is that not his name? You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Is his name Sean um, Astin? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Someone, someone, uh, Sean Aston? Samwise, of course. Sean, yeah, Sean Aston, great. 
Uh, yeah, good old Samwell, of course, and, you know, anyone who watches Colbert knows that he's obsessed with the Lord of the Rings. So, like, we got to talk about Stranger Things Season 2 for a little bit, and then he's like, okay, oh, yeah. so Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but. How long have they been talking? For a, a while now. A couple hours. Which and I have been talking for a while now. You mean like in life? In 40 years. You know. A while. Alright, let's see what we got here. Wildlife Industries oh. says, hey. says, oh. Said, uh, hey Jack, just picked up Ultra Moon. Have you had a chance to play Ultra Moon yet? No. No. I, I did not care for uh, Moon. Ooh. I really did not care for Moon at all. And so, uh, and it's it's a trend that I've noticed in the Pokemon games. I also didn't care for... Oh, Pokemon Moon. Okay. Uh, they just came out with a new one. Ultra Moon. An Ultra Sun. And, Is it uh, the same game with Tweaks? Uh, no, it's a new, a new game. It's kind of like a sequel. But, uh... Uh... I've, I've been noticing that Pokemon has been heading into a direction that I don't much care for, so I have, uh, I've, st I've stepped back from the Pokies mons what's, now. What's the direction you don't care for? Um, they, they've, you, you're, you might laugh at this, Rich, but I feel like they've made it too easy. I feel like <laughs> they've made it way too easy. What is intended for children? Huh? It is intended for it children. Is, of course. But I, I thought I thought before it was a little more open ended, you know, like like you'd get to a section uh, in the older games and, and you would need a, a water Pokemon in order to yeah. swim across. And then, you oh, well, shit, I don't have water. Pokemon. I got to go find one. Right. Yeah. Here, there's a person standing right next to the water that says, here's a water Pokemon for you. Bye. You know, it's like, eh, it took some of the fun out of it. And I, I haven't cared for much of the uh, Pokemon designs, so. Don't like that seal. Don't, <laughs> I don't like that seal, yeah. So, you know, there's a couple reasons that I've decided to... Oh, nice! So blah, 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 blah. So blah, 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 blah. Uh, True Blue Review says, Last week I went uh, to the new creative... Director of Adult Swim in Atlanta. What? Last week, I went to the new creative director of Adult Swim in Atlanta getting married. It was super fun. There was a planned fight and everything. Can you shout out the lucky couple, Dave and Ji Young? Congratulations, Dave and Ji Young. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing either of your names. Mostly Ji Young. Because I don't know how that one sounds normally. Sorry. I'm anti rowlet I am. I am anti rowlet I don't like. I don't like the stupid owl. I'm sorry. Is that this another different Pokemon? It's one of the new Pokemon. You get the, the seal, the owl, or something else. I don't even remember what the other one was. There's something else. It's pronounced Davi. I'm sorry, Davi. And though I would like a mimic you, because that mimic you is the is as far as I'm concerned the most adorable Pokemon out there, because it's the saddest. I didn't even get far enough to get a mimic you. <laughs> awesome! They got that awesome algorithm down. When you do something awesome, it lets you know. Nice one, Rich. Thank you. Thank you. I feel good about that. Yeah. All right, what else we got here? Dr. Lube It Up says, Australian movie-going experience. Sit quietly and enjoy the movie. No talking, no clapping, no cheering, no gasping, no laughing. Not doing so would be considered rude towards other movie-goers. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with anything you've said. 
Are you telling me that you go to see a comedy and nobody laughs? That would be the worst movie-going experience ever. They're applauding for stupid things. No, you said no, la no gasping, no laughing. Are you uh, telling? Yeah, me okay, that's weird. Are you telling that's me weird. you go to see a, a shocking movie and something happens and like, <gasps> like you don't do that just naturally? Come on, come on, yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you had it, Rich. You had the world in the palm of your oh, hands. Threw it away, Jack. You threw it all away. <laughs> I like I. If they open their mouths to laugh, the spiders might crawl in. Oh, that's true. That's true about Australia. Yeah. The fire ants. The the, uh, the man-eating sloths might burrow into your mouth and <laughs> and find a new home. Yeah. Lay eggs. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing in Australia. Uh, to me, it's just not that big a deal when when someone is reacting to the movie. That can be a really positive movie-going experience because then that reaction can start a snowball and it can actually turn a movie that isn't necessarily funny into a oh, into a funny that, movie. That did not look like it had the proper amount of force to take my leg off. Agreed. I agree. I agree with, with that, Rich. Uh, and so, you know, it, it's... It, that to me is part of the joy of the movie going experience is is hearing the audience's reactions hearing someone laugh at a wholly inappropriate joke is a great thing if 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 you're going to go see a movie and you don't want anyone to react in any way why go to a movie just wait till wait till you can watch it at home Exactly, Fleb says that's part of sitting with a crowd of people. That's the whole pur purpose of seeing a movie in a movie theater. To see it with the crowd. The reactions. That's why Netflix is a good thing. That's well, it's why Netflix can be a good thing. I still like the the whole movie going experience. I'm not saying that there are downsides. Everyone knows what the downsides to going to the movie theater is. Is, you know, grandma's coughing. Grandma's got pneumonia and is coughing during your movie. That's, oh, that's the downside. Some dickhead is talking on his cell phone. Recapping what just happened in the movie. Oh, man, you won't believe it. Ant-Man just turned small. I can't, oh, shit, man. Ant-Man just turned small. I get it. I get it. <clears throat> Uh, where are we? Tired and Sad said, have... Tired and Sad, you're asking us a question about something, uh, about whether or not Mike and Jay know something. That might be a question you want to ask Mike and Jay. Yeah. Just putting that out there. So... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Uh, Jordante07 says, hi, Rich. Hi, Jack. Any interest in streaming South Park's The Fractured But Whole? Eh, no. No, yeah, I don't, don't really care. Uh, ever play Stick of Truth? No. No. Neither have I. Thanks, as always, for the entertainment. Uh, I got nothing against South Park, but South Park... I mean, wouldn't if, if, you're, if you enjoy South Park, would you want to hear us talking over it, or would you rather just play the South Park game yourself? Same reason I haven't streamed uh, Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most of that is in the fun. Most yeah. of the joy of that is in the fun dialogue. Uh, and you get to hear the old cast get together and yeah, yeah. do their thing. Yeah, yeah. You don't want us talking over that. Yeah, I, I think they would make for bad streaming games. I also have, I have no feelings at all towards South Park. I don't care about them. I've never been a South Park fanatic, but I, I like the show well enough. I don't. I haven't watched that much of it. All said and done, but. Uh, for there, there was a time where I was a huge South Park fan, and then as I got older, I just stopped caring. And I probably have not seen the show five, eight years, ten years. I mean, like it's been a while since I've last seen the show, so I just don't really care. So I've seen like the first three or so seasons. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. And uh, I know recently because 
they do that streaming on YouTube now, and people just stream fucking whatever. Yeah. So I've seen some of the recent ones. Like, ah, click on that. Okay. Wasn't bad. Oh, okay. I don't deny that it. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I hate Jack, South Park. You, have, you don't love it, then oh, you hate it. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. That's exactly how I feel. No, I just don't care. So. I just don't care. What's your opinion on Wonder? I haven't seen Wonder. My kid is reading the book currently. Wonder doing shockingly well at the box office. Yeah. About the kid with the messed up face. Uh, my kid's reading the book, and so... Henry Cavill? Huh? Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so I will probably see the movie eventually, after he's done reading the book, but I have no thoughts on it right now. I'm too old to be part of the Twitter generation? Possibly. I'm on Twitter. Oh, I'm, Is that? I'm definitely too old to be part count? of the Twitter generation. What's the Twitter generation? I just know I'm too old for it. Pro you know, uh, aren't we all? Jack, what did you... Oh, I, I haven't seen Justice League. Lamp, the light of the universe. Uh, I have not seen Justice League, um, so I have no thoughts on it. Uh, all The only thing I know about Justice League is I've seen Henry Cavell's face. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pictures of his face with the horrible CGI mouth, and I love it. And I love it. It's my He's my favorite part of Justice League. So... The Twitter generation are people whose formative years were when Twitter was a thing. Oh, so yeah, definitely not me. How long has Twitter been a thing? I, can't, I don't think for that long. No. Are the, are the Twitter, Twitter generation out of diapers? Is the question. They got, they got a Twitter when they were 12. And they're 17 now. Oh, okay, there you go. That could, yeah. be, that could be. Formative years, I suppose. Oh! Oh no! You, no, 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 I, can no, do. no. <laughs> I, you know what I want? I want a Wiley e. Coyote <laughs> animation for when you just run out of steam and you're just like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Brand Flakes, I love the Expanse show. I know uh, my wife read all of the Expanse books and she loves them. I'm sure I would also love them. There are just too many things on my reading list at the moment, but I love the show. And now that I've seen the show, actually, I don't want to read the books because... Oh, nice, Rich. That's mostly luck, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, I mean, you did that on purpose. Right, you know exactly right. what you're doing. Uh, be, like, now I, the show has given me, like... Nope, I missed nope. the thing. Has given me, like, character faces and stuff, so I, w I would almost hate to go back and read the books, but I, I hear really good things. I, I do love the show. I do uh, love the Expand show. Looking forward to the new season. Are we going to, in our lifetime... In our lifetime. Are we going to see a day when um, AOL ends up selling DC and Marvel buys it? AOL? Time Warner. AOL Time Warner. They own DC? Yeah. Okay. Last I heard... Are we going to see a day when when Marvel and DC are just all officially under the same banner? And what will they do with that? Will they keep them apart? Or are they going to eventually merge this shit? Disney's got the money to do something like that. Huh. I mean, Time Warner has a lot of money. Do you have, do you have, you have, a, you have a, in the comics, yeah. you have a... A crossover event called... Oh, wait, they already did Final Crisis, didn't they? Yeah. I was going to say Final Crisis. Ult no. Oh. Ultimate Crisis. <laughs> Ultimate Crisis. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Ultimate Crisis. Crisis Wars. Crisis Wars. Secret Crisis Wars. There's got to be some sort of antitrust legislation against... Uh, For comic <laughs> book characters? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a billion-dollar industry, Rich. There's, uh, yeah, uh... 
the United States government will not allow a merger of DC and Marvel. We can't allow it. Infinity Crisis. Ooh, yeah, yeah, there, there you we go. go. Nice. Uh, uh, Time Warner's got a lot of money. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure they're hurting for any money. But what I'm, what I'm gonna say is interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Disney owns both Marvel and DC. Yeah. And you know what? For the first like five years, yeah, they keep it separate. Yeah, yeah. And then slowly they start seeding. Here's the first thing I want to see. Yeah. You know who would make a great couple? Who? Who? You know who would make the perfect couple? I'm, if we could I'm cross dying over? to hear it. Wonder Woman, Captain America. They would make a great couple. That's just too much fish out of water. But again, Wonder Woman's been a fish. Out, she's no longer a fish she, out of Wonder water. Wonder Woman is no longer a fish out of she water. She was in World War One. Yeah. <laughs> they they would get together. Wonder Woman would immediately respect Steve Rogers' uh, physical aptitude and courageousness. I don't know if I'm seeing it as a romance. I'm saying it makes too much sense. <laughs> it makes too much sense not to happen. I mean, also, uh, Chris Evans is is pretty close to Chris Pine. And she just lost Chris Pine, so she gets Chris Evans. They just yeah. traded Chris for a Chris. You, you know who would have great chemistry? And they've had crossovers before, but oh, it, sure, could, sure. it could be a more routine thing. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man and Batman. Because that's some, that's some oil and water right there. Yeah. <laughs> I would love it. They, they've done comics. They've had crossovers before, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you, you do more regularly. That, that was my favorite part of early Ultimate Spider-Man was his run with Wolverine. Right. And Wolverine just not having any of his shit. <laughs> I would love Spider-Man hanging out with Batman. <laughs> and Batman just being utterly sick of Spider-Man, but Spider-Man, like, not being able to do anything because Spider-Man is physically superior and has the spider sense. <laughs> Like, this teenage kid is physically superior and has the spider sense so Batman could never sneak up on him. <laughs> yeah, be a constant source of irritation. And so, like, Batman would just be <laughs> constantly pissed off at this dumb kid who's better than him. Spider-Man just showing up in the Batcave when he needs help. Bruce! <laughs> How'd you get around the security measures? Spider sense! <laughs> spider sense! <laughs> How'd you get around? Yes! Yes! <laughs> and, like, just constantly trying to, like, tail Spider-Man to find out his secret identity. And Spider-Man always losing him. Just going, damn it. <laughs> hey, Bruce! Bruce, I need your help! You have to have, you have, to have Batman deduce the identity. Of course, yeah, I, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, I want it so bad now. I want it so bad. Uh, yeah, that would be great. And have, uh... Oh, yeah, Nice, Rich! So it's moments like that. Yep. Are just great. So, yeah, get, you give Spider-Man and Batman their own buddy cop movie, and you have, uh... Too close to the sun. Who's the, uh... Who's the... Oh, fuck, I'm forgetting names. Lethal Weapon, Iron Man no. 3... Um, what, actor name? No, what? the director. The director oh, of Lethal Farvo, Weapon. Oh, Farvo? Farvo? Oh, wait, three. No, Iron Shane Man Black. Shane, Shane Black. Black. Shane. Buddy, co buddy comedy. Team up with Shane Black directing. Oscar. Win all the awards. <laughs> best, best reviewed movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock's in there, too, for some reason. He's the bad guy. The Rock's the bad guy. I love it. The Oh, The Rock is playing Kingpin. And <laughs> no, obviously that's too far. The Kingpin is not necessarily a charismatic person. The no. Rock would be bad casting. He would be a terrible for, Kingpin. For the Kingpin. But The Rock is in the movie too because <clears throat> The Rock should be in it. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, now this is in my head and I love it. Thank you, Rich. The Rock as Gorilla Grog. Can, can you do gorilla? You know what I was thinking of. I'm yeah. watching. Um, I'm watching my my CW superhero shows. Right? Yeah. 
and uh, this season actually, much uh, to my delight, oh, that was close. Much to <laughs> my delight, they have added Plastic Man. Yeah. Into the Flash. And he's a he's a, a bit of a low life detective, and he gets his plastic okay. man powers. And okay. He's you know he's a, a a bit of a thorn in the Flash's side, but you know they still work together. Flash is teaching him how to be a hero, and it's it's a lot of fun character wise. Yeah. But this is a television show on a television budget, and they're doing Plastic Man esque special effects. Yeah. And that got me thinking. Uh, as you know, like the, the comic book that I read the most is Miss Marvel, who has, you know, plastic man ish right. powers, you know, stretchy big and big any powers, right? Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna about to have a hot take here. Okay. They should not make a Miss Marvel movie. Okay. Because I think that there is no possible way to do stretchy powers that don't look terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have I have no opinion on this. Right. Well, well, I, I, I you know, because the the CG is bad, obviously, in the Flash, because it's a well, TV show. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine, but then like I'm thinking about movies where we do have stretchy, like big movies where we have stretchy characters, like any of the Fantastic Four movies. Like, yeah, there's a big Hollywood movies. Yeah. They always look awful. Someone out there who's just a great artist who could make it work. Maybe. Probably how you do it. I don't know if our brains could ever process. A realistic looking person stretching that way. Like, if you think about times when it does work, it's in comics because art, you know, like you artists can make weird things and uh, Miss Miss is incredible. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't do it that way. Maybe you do it more like a goo. You just change the effect, the style. Like a I don't, goo? yeah. Maybe. Maybe. There's probably a way to do it. It worked in The Incredibles, Blavad, because that is that's, not a that's realistic. A, that's a cartoon. It's a cartoon, exactly. And so, that, and so this is my this is my super hot take is I don't think it's possible because of uncanny whether you want to call it uncanny valley whether you just want to call it it's it's an inherent goofiness to stretch powers yes and I don't think it's something our brains could wrap around realistic realistic skin doing it like a movie had the right tone I don't think it would matter if you're not if it's sillier lighthearted fair. Maybe you could do stretching and it'd be fine. Sure, sure. Like like Jim Carrey's The Mask. Right. <laughs> anyway, in the hy hypothetical oh, scenario where where Mar Marvel, uh, where Disney buys DC Comics. All right, I like it. It's kind of DC coming into Marvel's playground. Then here's the thing. Yeah. I'm assuming I would assume that Marvel's publishing would take charge. Do you, if you merge the two universes, do you, do you keep the fictional cities or do you just, Superman's in New York now? Oh, I couldn't, shit, I couldn't which... picture a Marvel universe that would have a metropolis in it. Okay. Yeah. Here's my pitch. Okay. Obviously this is just right off the top of my head. So it's going to be dumb. The crisis rich. Yeah. That, ha that that happens, and the, the main drama in all of the world is quite literally the Earth of DC and the Earth of Marvel smush. Yeah. So half of both planets are destroyed. <laughs> Be with me here. Okay. So that is going to immediately give you a ton of conflict and drama in the world. So, you know, obviously, like, Gotham isn't smushed, Metropolis isn't yeah, smushed, but yeah. maybe Edge City is, or Star City, right? <laughs> you, get, you get rid of half of them. Well, right. <laughs> and maybe, you know, maybe the heroes come in. Or, you know, the heroes stay, but, yeah, millions are dead. Billions are dead. Yeah. And so then that immediately makes uh, each side resent the other side. And so that's <laughs> that's where you can have our main drama is the heroes battling each other because they think that the other heroes made the earth smoosh together. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's how you have the best of both worlds. Oh, snap. <laughs> for, it's a great pun. For the sake of argument, because I think this is this is an interesting question. Okay. If you did get rid of the fictional cities, yeah. then Superman gets New York, right? Is that is that a question? And, and if Superman get... gets New York, where do you stick Batman? Chicago. 
Is it Chicago or is it Detroit? <laughs> uh, is Batman a better fit for Detroit? Chicago. Chicago? Okay. Good, you know why? Because Detroit doesn't have the posh element. Okay. Det uh, Detroit is working class. Like, Chicago has that blend where it's both working class. And you also have opera there, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And posh elements. So, I, I, Batman is definitely Chicago. Superman, obviously, New York. Detroit doesn't have the buildings. That That might be true. Yeah. Detroit is all working class. Like, you could put Flash in Detroit. Would it be too weird to give him, like, Dallas or something? Batman? Yeah. <laughs> would it be too, too weird? Yes. Yes, it would be. It would be incredibly too weird to give him Dallas. <laughs> Though I like it. I would love the idea of just uh, the Batmobile pulling up next to giant-ass pickup trucks. <laughs> And people like, you know, spitting tobacco at them. Fucking bite, man. Two Face is gonna rob the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it can't be Dallas. <laughs> no, but you know, you could give you could give Detroit to Flash, right? And then, you know, like fast cars, fast guy. That would make sense. De uh, Detroit's a lot of flat earth. A lot of flat land, uh -huh, uh -huh. not flat earth. Uh, flat, a lot of flat land, a lot of good running area. Like Green Lantern, like Atlanta or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. I mean, who cares what about Green Lantern in general? <laughs> in general. <laughs> and see, like that's the thing. Superman really could work in any city. Someone was saying Superman is maybe a Los Angeles thing. Okay. Superman's more of a world hero. He's kind of a globe trotter. Ah. But where's his, the the question is where where does he hang his hat? <laughs> you know, where does he work as a reporter? Can he can Superman be a reporter anymore? Shove him in the Daily and uh, Daily Bugle. <laughs> gets... You you would probably just have the Daily Planet be a rival newspaper in New York. Sure. For the Bugle. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. If there if there was a weird way where these Earths got merged, if they really didn't want to do the fictional cities, otherwise you just keep it as it is. Right, right. Metropolis and the the planet. I know, I know he's a blogger, but so I have a problem with Superman being a blogger now. I, I guess that that's what they have to do with him now. But okay. Well, the 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 uh, the whole idea of him being a reporter back in the day yeah. was was to make sure that he uh, got uh, all of the yeah, he earliest get the hot news scoops. of what the bad guys were They're doing. The robbing the bank. Right? Of oh, hey, I know that because I'm at the news uh, paper. <laughs> it was right? very convenient. It was very convenient. Is there any strong reason for him to be a blogger anymore? In the information age when everybody knows exactly what news is happening everywhere, does he even need that anymore? Well, then what does Clark Kent do? This is my question. Is he just an author? Does he write novels? Ooh. I like that. I like that. I'm... I like this. Yeah. I think I've had the full for now. Well, you've been playing for yeah. like two and a half hours. So what's what's the plan? And you, we like, were worried about getting an hour out of this. That's I know. Great. That's great. You tell me what your plan is. Man. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we can do FTL. We can do Hand of Fate. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you want to play? Uh, you know, I. I You're just good gibbering. I'm just gibbering. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy gibbering. I, I'm. I'm liking Clark Kent as an author. Chat, this game is fun. Mm -hmm. Hand of Fate, one or two? Yeah, I can see more two. Splat. So I never, I never did unlock all of the cards. With Ooh, one. sure. Oh, sure. Go like go back and unlock more cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't have. I don't think I have that save file here. So. Oh. Good point. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm seeing a lot of hand of fate twos. All right. 
Okay. And then you can vote on shit. That's fine. Oh, sure. We can do the Twitch integration. Yeah. That's fine. I'm with you. I'm All with right. You. Let's go it. to it. Okay. That was a fine game. That's a fine game, though. Fine I like game. This. I approve of Super... Super Fallen, Flight. Super Flight. Super Flight. Okie dokie. Should call it Fall Guy. Fall, fall, the Fall Guy. Oh, what'd I do? Here it is. Shit, where'd it go? It doesn't like the mouse. Now that you've used the controller. Hold on. I'm just on tab. Wait, I'm gonna quit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit it how we're supposed to quit it. Super Flight. Uh, righty tidy. And uh, let's go. Chat, uh, Gutter Punk in chat. I did not play through Orcs Must Die with no upgrades. I just played with the normal amount of upgrades. <laughs> oh, when did that come out? I, I, I upgraded everything as soon as I could. Well, not everything. The things I wanted upgraded. Oh. Um, well, there you go. Damn it. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's so nice when you download when you download a game from GOG.com, you don't have to actually go into GOG Galaxy. It's right there in your in your start menu. <laughs> I I just I, I like not having the 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 Steam nanny on my shoulder, Jack. Yeah. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's an independent streak. I won't apologize for it. Um, let's see here. Well, I guess we will use the cloud save. That'll be my save. It's uh, it's. I'm logged in. It'd be mine probably. Okay, so then yeah, you want the cloud yeah. save? Yeah. I don't know. Do I, have, I wonder if I have cloud for the. It doesn't matter anyway. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Sinking cloud save. Uh, for also for anyone interested, uh, 